This is a declassified report by the U.S. Defense Department, which details how Washington extensively assisted its stalwart ally Tel Aviv to develop a hydrogen bomb, a type of nuclear weapon. The 386-page report is dubbed Critical Technology Assessment in Israel and NATO Nations. The 1987 report says Israeli nuclear sites were equivalent to laboratories that played a key role in the development of U.S. nuclear weapons. It was released after a Freedom of Information Act request filed by a researcher and a subsequent lawsuit in September aimed at forcing the release of the report. During the hearings, the U.S. administration struggled to postpone the release of the report as the assistance is against both international and U.S. federal law. Washington has been criticized for covering up the report for more than two and a half decades. The release comes ahead of a planned speech by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at a U.S. Congress next month. Ironically, the controversial speech is to focus on the negotiations between Tehran and the P5 plus one group of countries over Iran's nuclear energy program. Netanyahu has said that he wants to specifically talk about, quote, the dangers of Iran. Iran, which is a party to treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons, has been under pressure from some Western countries to renounce its peaceful nuclear program. But Tehran has been negotiating with the P5 plus one in recent years to maintain its inalienable right to a nuclear energy program. I'd like to welcome my guest to the program, peace activist and former U.S. Marine, Mr. Ken O'Keefe out of London and the President Middle East Research Center. Richard Hellman out of Washington. Thank you both for being with us. Well, let's start this off in uh, Washington with uh, Richard Hellman. In your perspective, sir, why would the U.S. share sensitive information with an entity that has not proven itself a faithful ally? Uh, Israel is a, a free democratic uh, state. I lived there for seven years and, and uh, I know that Israel is a free democratic state with respect for the rights of all religions and eth ethnicities and races, and that Israel uh, does not threaten its neighbors. And Israel ha do does have a respect for international law, and Israel has constantly sought peace uh, with its neighbors. It has a peace treaty with Egypt and a peace treaty with Jordan. It had a peace treaty with uh, Lebanon until uh, uh, forces reported to be Syrian and Hezbollah forces blew up the government in a building one day and but, that but was Mr. the Hellman, end of the peace with Lebanon. But Mr. Hellman, let me just jump in here. As an American, event, sir, the point is I, one, I'm not talking moment. about the neighbors. Me, give me a second, me, sir. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me expand let the me, question. Let give me a second, finish. Mr. Hellman. Moment, give me let a second, please. Let me finish the answer. Mr. Hellman, you've answered that part of the question. Understand about the neighbors. I want to expand as an American yourself, sir. As an yes, American, yes, do as you an not American, see it as a problem, answer. Mr. Hellman? I want to finish the Mr. answer. Mr. Hellman, you I have finished that part answer. of the question. You talked about the neighbors. The I want to talk about the United States the itself now. I'm, I'm fin yes, I, yes, I'm finishing the answer. Here is the here is the Go finish. Ahead. Here I am finishing the answer right now. If you stop talking, please. Go ahead and answer the question. You're the moderator, aren't you? You don't have to make the case, please. Answer the question, so, sir. So uh, the point is, the po yes, the point is that unlike the government in Iran, not the people or the nation of Iran, but the government in Iran, uh, Israel has not threatened genocide against uh, Israel, the Jewish people, and America, as the Iran uh, rulers have continuously okay, done. Mr. It has well, not, well, Mr. Hellman, uh, the question wait, that I was moment, talking not, to you about. One moment, I'm, I'm No, you're going to I'm answer the question, moment, or I'm, I'm going to go on. Answer. The question I'm I asked you, the, the second part of that I'm question was, as an American, yes. as an American, do you feel yes, that it is American, okay for you. such sensitive information to be shared with an entity such as Israel? Yes or no? All, all of the information is not out yet, but in fact, 
The problem with Iran developing weapons is that it is sponsoring terror, or it's sponsoring dictatorships, it's persecuting its people, it's imprisoning Christians, it's persecuting Baha'is. Okay. That's the problem. Mr. Israel, Helmet, as far as I know, as far as I know, we're both speaking the same as far as I know, we're both speaking the same language. Moment, but you're done. not answering the question one, one at moment, hand. I'm not done. Turning to Mr. O'Keefe, I will one not moment. have American, you. Not you. You I'm will not stick yet. with the program, Mr. O'Keefe. Mr. O'Keefe, I want your comments on on the question. What I wanted to know as an American Basically, is it okay for this type of sensitive information to be shared with, with any entity, especially when we look at Israel's history as far as its relations with the United States, whether we're looking at the Pollard, uh, the spy uh, situation, or we're looking at the USS Liberty? Your take, sir. Well, you know, the, what we've just heard is, is the talking points of the State Department and, and the propagandist machine that we see that controls the mainstream media. And, and ultimately, it's just one lie after another. It is not only illegal, but it's immoral that the United States would have used nuclear weapons in the first place, obviously Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but then to share that technology with an entity like Israel, an entity which has been involved in so many nasty uh, events in its history that it is beggar's belief that we are choosing to ally ourselves with a state which continues to persecute the people of Palestine in ways that are so obscene. We see this in last summer when literally uh, 92 families were wiped out, gone. They don't exist anymore because the entire families were taken out. 500 children plus killed in the, in the latest uh, slaughter in Gaza. Still to this day in Gaza, we see 850,000 children being collectively punished by policies of Israel and Egypt, which is important to note. And, and this entity is also threatening to blow up the world if it feels its existence is threatened. This is on record. For the United States to have shared that with Israel is an affront to all of the good people of America. And it also bears mentioning that the policy towards Israel isn't so much uh, America favoring Israel itself, it's the fact that Israeli agents have hijacked the American nation through AIPAC and other means through the banking and financing uh, sector. And they basically own the U.S. Congress. And this mouthpiece okay. you have in Washington is simply a mouthpiece for a foreign entity. All right, well, let me go back to, let me go back to Washington and get Mr. Hellman back in on this. Mr. Hellman, when we look at what some of the comments that Mr. O'Keefe has made, um, if we're looking at a sovereign nation, uh, for example, like the United States, uh, does it occur to you at all that uh, at times it appears that it is Tel Aviv that is pulling Washington in certain directions? For example, by giving sensitive information to an entity like that, how dangerous do you see it or do you see it being dangerous at all to the United States itself? It's not dangerous at all to the United States because Israel is, our, is the United States' uh, strongest uh, ally and friend in the Middle East, if not the world. And in fact, uh, I would say that it's, uh, it's interesting that President Obama has criticized the, uh, the coming uh, speech of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu in the Congress. And there is a political uh, debate right now about that issue. And in fact, uh, President Obama's emissaries, including uh, Valerie Jarrett, his closest political confidant, has helped him to send letters to President Rouhani and receive replies. So the president is trying very hard to make a deal with uh, Iran. But in fact, it's dangerous to the U.S. because Iran is developing uh, missiles that could hit America. They already put a satellite in space. So uh, it is very dangerous to the United States. But Israel is part of uh, our defenses, frankly, and Israel it does respect human rights. And if you want to talk about who has killed whom, is Israel the, a peaceful? Uh, is Israel forces, a peaceful uh, entity, what forces, sir? What, uh, yes, it, yes, Israel is a peaceful entity. But let's look at the, the dictator okay. of Damascus, uh, Bashar Bashar al-Assad, who is backed sir, by the, the, the issue. Re Iran uh, Mr. regime. Helmut, he has we can talk about Syria. We can talk about Iran. We can talk about all these countries when a, that is the subject at hand. Sir, you will stick to the second, subject tonight. Trust me on that. Quarter, Going back to quarter, London quarter, and Mr. Ken O'Keefe. Going back to London and Mr. Ken O'Keefe. 
Mr. O'Keefe, when we look at the situation, and we have our guests in Washington talking about a peaceful entity being Israel, but when we see that the existence uh, over the last six decades of so has been constantly, basically, fighting with its neighbors up until the time right now. Wait, and we are, saw wait, what the happened moderator? last summer. Are you we the saw moderator? what happened last summer in you, Gaza. Uh, Tell me the danger, if you think it is, of an entity like that being given basically the technology for an H-bomb. Well, again, so many lies have just been trotted out, and that's why this person in Washington can pretend as if you're not being a moderator when, in fact, you're only restating facts. Let's look at the Levon affair, where Israel was caught uh, trying to instigate a problem with Egypt. Let's look at the USS Liberty. It wasn't so safe for Americans then. 34 American sailors were murdered and 171 injured, and Israel did its best to sink the USS Liberty, and they failed in that. And that's the only reason why the nuclear-armed phantom jets that were launched towards Cairo weren't used, because the Liberty did not sink, and, and survivors were able to tell the tale. It wasn't safe on 9-11 either, oh, when we had Mossad agents who were told of the event, had foreknowledge oh, of the event, were there filming the event, and that's, everyone who was arrested on the oh, day of 9-11 was an Israeli. There were, no, there were no Arabs. Total, you have no, you don't even have any lies. decency. I did Where not did interrupt you, you through all of your Where rubbish. You, you are a chicken oh, hawk. No, you, you are a chicken a hawk oh, oh, traitor. You, you're the one, you're the one, and you're, you're the and one you're hiding. rude. You're the one I, hiding. I listen to all of your lies. You're the one hiding in London. I listen to all of your lies. You're the one hiding in London. You're the I've one come back to the London, States. But when you Did you fight in the military? You're not I'm an ex-Marine who you're actually fought. You are a you're coward. Not credible. Listen okay, to you. Let me go, let me go back to you. Have Washington. you ever fought? You have you ever been in the military? I don't know, I don't know what you did. But have if you ever been in the military? If you're How dare you? I've if served in nine, combat, you chicken hawk coward. All right, let me go. Ken, stay with me. You're Going back to Washington, Richard Kalman.